from Divergent today. It's inspired by Beatrice or Shailene Woodley. She's being thrown around the whole movie and fighting and it, the, the makeup is not the main focus. I'm like watching the movie thinking to myself like that is the perfect everyday makeup look. I just have my hair in a ponytail. I got my little workout gear from Dick's Sporting Goods. I hope all you guys like it and I will see you next time. Bye. As always, I'm going to be starting off with clean skin, no makeup, and this is the first product we're going to be using. It's from Bare Minerals. It's a biolucent mineral treatment. It's basically going to help brighten the skin because Beatrice has very healthy, glowy looking skin. I'm also going to be brightening my under eye area as well with this cream. It's from First Aid Beauty. I'm just blending it in and this will help to get rid of dark under eye circles. Next, I'm going to be using concealer. This is MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. I'm going to be blending this underneath of my eye area as well to help brighten it. I love this concealer. This is a really great one for that natural type of look. Like, it totally doesn't look like I have concealer. This is like a foundation stick. It's actually pretty cool and it's also pretty cheap. I'm basically putting this underneath of where I put the concealer. Like, the whole bottom half of my face, on my chin, jawline, and a little bit also on the temples of my forehead, or like the sides of my forehead, not exactly the temples. And I'm blending this out to give a natural contour to my face. This is Bare Minerals Foundation in Medium, and this is what is going to help blend the concealer and the Maybelline Stick Foundation together. So I'm just using a big fat kabuki brush. This one is my favorite from e.l.f. and blending all over my face just to blend those two together and to basically give a really nice glow to my skin that looks natural and not like I have caked on foundation. <laughs> For the eyebrows, I wanted to be really natural with it, so I'm using this new pomade from Anastasia. And this is in dark brown. I'm taking an angle brush and just lightly making just very short strokes and not filling them in too much. This is Emphasize by Tarte. It's a eyeliner. This is a brown eyeliner that I'm gonna be putting along my lash line, my upper lash line, and then blending it out with the smudge stick on the opposite end. And I'm also doing this on the very outer corner of my lower lash line as well, and smudging it out. I think this is my favorite part of her look because it gives the eyes some definition without looking too much. You know, it's not like a cat eye winged eyeliner. It's very subtle and simple. Usually I would go in with some mascara, but her lashes are so delicate looking. Um, does not look like she's really wearing much mascara. So I'm using a brow gel from Benefit and lightly applying this on the top and bottom lashes. This is in dark brown. You could also use a clear mascara or just a brown mascara if you like. And then I'm going to be going in with a bronzer. This is Rimmel, in, sorry, <laughs> this is Rimmel bronzer in Sundance and using the same kabuki brush we used earlier, I'm going to be blending this along my cheekbones, the sides of my forehead, jawline and chin, a little bit on my nose to give my face some color. And lastly for the lips, this is Josie Moran Infinity Oil Cream. It's basically like an argan oil that is for everything, lips, face, whatever it may be. I'm just putting this on my lips for a little bit of shine. And like I said earlier, I just put my hair in a simple ponytail and kind of pulled some pieces out in the front to make it look more messy. But this is it for the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. Thumbs up if you love Divergent, if you love Ellie Golding, and if you like this uh, makeup tutorial. Um, more videos coming soon. Let me know in the comments if you want anything specific and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye! <laughs>